today we're going to be going over an active learning question. This question tells us, Lenny's Cafe is the only source of coffee for hundreds of miles in any direction. Lenny is selling two cups of coffee. If he wishes to lower the price and sell three cups, the blank A quantity effect will dominate the price effect and total revenue will decrease. B. Price effect will dominate the quantity effect and total revenue will increase. C. Quantity effect will dominate the price effect and total revenue will increase. And D. Price effect will dominate the quantity effect and total revenue will decrease. Okay. So what we know right away is that Lenny pretty much has a monopoly. So his data is the only thing we need to look at right now. And then we know that he is currently selling two cups. So we can go over and look at this nifty chart here and find where two cups is. And we'll put that across. Let's see his revenue is 16 at that point. And then he wants to sell three, so we scroll down to three, seven times three, 21. So obviously his revenue is going to be increasing. So what we can do now is we can eliminate A and D right off the bat. So now the question is, what's affecting this increase more, the price effect or the quantity effect? An easy way to distinguish that is to go ahead and draw a graph. Okay, and so then we're going to go ahead and plot our points. So we have 8, 2. Okay, so what this is going to do is going to make it really easy to kind of visually distinguish what is what. So the price effect is going to be the loss incurred by the change in price on the original item. So we're going to look at these first two cups first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the new price. We're going to go 7. Then we're going to subtract the old price. Okay, and then there's two cups, we're going to multiply that by two, equals, and so seven minus eight is going to be negative one, and times two equals negative two. Okay, so that's going to be the price effect, is a loss of two. So that's this area right here. That is the price effect, it is negative, it's a loss because this area is no longer inside the box. However, we now have this area to look at. So now we need to look at the gain that Lenny is going to get from selling an additional coffee cup. So that is going to be one cup times seven additional dollars equals seven. So he is now gaining seven dollars. So this is going to be a net gain of five dollars. And so in this case, the quantity effect is having a greater impact on Lenny's income than the price effect. This is the quantity effect right there. So then what we're going to do is go back to the problem. And then C says quantity effect will dominate the price effect and total revenue will increase, which is correct. So we'll circle that. 